Hello everybody, it's me, your favorite Giraffe Factory, and our town hall is done here in Banished. Um, yeah, so now we've got like some census information. We're only in five times, it's okay. Um, and now we know kinda... so how much we produce and use um, in terms of items, and that's like really cool. Uh, that's one of the better things we can do here, I think. Um, so used and produced one and two in clothes. So we're like we're like we're okay in clothes. Um, I think that that means we can trade more clothes. I have this like suspicion that the trader shows up like once a year, given the frequency that we saw him in Giraffeton. But um, actually, let's slow down a little bit more just to talk a little bit. Um, we can see over the past ten years how we've done, right? So. How much food do we use? We used 37,000, okay? With all this information, and, and this is as new to me as it is to you, um, well, to your eyes from my playthrough anyway, um, oh, excuse me, oh, that's gross. Mm, I shouldn't have, whew, shouldn't have drank some stuff before I started recording. Um, so we've got... So we've got uh, used in the past 10 years only 310 iron, right? And we've produced 630, and so like we're like doubly on top of that. We've been, we've been uh, gathering way too much iron, right? Um, stone is only a little bit ahead, right? So check that out, and uh, I feel like that might be a little bit off, just because we only have 42 right now, but. You know, like, you can't expect census data to be 100% uh, accurate. But um, this gives us kind of a, a better use of our uh, resources, right? Better kind of uh, layout of how we should distribute our resources. Um, I think that'll become more useful later, but for now... Hey, 36, good job. For now, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that because it's awesome. I mentioned I wanted to see if we could get, if we could like figure out if this was a plague or not, and it doesn't seem like it is, but I still have no idea because it's not producing nearly enough um, apples to be useful. Um, we're not going to make another apple orchard up here. Uh, I read that, uh, I read it in the help menu here that if you have the same orchard or farm like or pasture near each other then let's see um, infestations let's see infestations will kill the trees and when that occurs the fruit can be harvested early cutting down all the trees and changing the tree growing in the orchard will help stop the infestation from reoccurring so I feel like even if I feel like if it is an infestation, if we grow another one here, it's not gonna help. Oh no, who died? Crushed by a rock. Oh no, this is a dangerous, dangerous place. This quarry. Oh, that's terrible. The poor, poor Ferriki. Oh, I never saw that coming. That's awful. Oh, I'm sure they never did either. Oh, this, that poor person. Oh no. Well, they live on in our memories. Oh, that poor person. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Faraki. We will remember you. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, so tragic. Moving on. Um, <laughs> we should think about having some more, I think having some more um, jobs down here. Because we don't have a lot of stuff down here, right? We just have these homes, and they're still kind of... Let's see. Farmer. So they work up there. The teacher works here, apparently. Or lives here. Um, st Stonecutter. I don't know why they live all the way down here. Uh, gather an herbalist. That's good, actually. Two gatherers and an herbalist live over here. Woodcutter lives down here. That's kind of odd, but no big deal. Um... Anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. So we've got everyone in kind of like the right place, right? Uh, but I think we should have a couple more houses down here. And 
I wish that like the storage barn like showed you like its radius or something, but I think it's not important. I think it's just like the closest storage barn is the most important one. So that one is 61% full, and this one is 48% full. So that's a that's a good thing. Okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's up with our orchard. I have a feeling it might like be a problem or something. In fact, I'm gonna do something drastic here. I'm gonna. Well, can we? Do, yeah. So we only have apples. So like we only have oh we have beans and cabbage so we could build a cabbage farm down here but uh, we have so much food it's not necessary um, I think we could just build uh, another orchard but after we get another orchard type right some other seeds like pears or or what have you like pecans or something but for now seeing as this guy's kind of messing up I think we might want to just cut down all the trees but I'm just gonna let it go because um, I'd like the tavern to actually have anything to do at all so I'm just gonna kinda hope that it gets better and uh, and if it doesn't no big deal we're still rolling in food so it's okay um, in fact I'm gonna up food by a thousand so that everybody has something to do um, Oh, I thought we were paused for a minute, but it's only because we're on two times. Okay. Um, today, I would like to get... Uh, so we're trying to start this little proto-town over here, like this kind of expansion of the town, right? Because we can't go this way. We need this forest. And we can't go this way because we need this forest. Or this, like, demi-wilderness up here. Because they made 1,200. That's, that's like a good amount of food right there. And, uh, and they also produce all our leather. So we need all that leather to stay clothed. So we can only go east or west at the moment because I think too much foot traffic will ruin this spot. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so since we already have kind of a setup going west, let's go west, yeah? And part of going west is grabbing, wh where is it? How to find. Here we go. Trading post. The trading post. This will help with uh, a number of things. This should allow us to produce more goods, first of all. Um, like, more varied goods, in that we can 40, 80, 82. So we've got plenty of logs, but we need more stone for that. Um, if we use this, we can um, eventually get nomads, first of all, which is a plus. Um, the fact that we have a growing town right now is actually phenomenal, but um, but we do definitely want more people coming in, and uh, the trader is our first step in that direction. Um, I think we need to grab some stone off the ground somewhere, by the way. We should probably tell people to do that instead of just talking about it, like that. And if we can get uh, nomads to come in, we can kind of expand, I'm thinking northwest or or just west. Um, if we put like another market over here sometime, then that might help. Or even if we just put a storage barn and started a new little proto town on this end, kind of like I was talking about before. Like I, was, I called this a proto town, but it's not really because it's using the market. Um, so it's supplied by by this town, but if we put like another, if we put like a storage barn and a woodcutter of its own, then this might be able to like sustain itself, right? Seems neat. And yeah, so anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, I think if we produce, what's up? I know, okay. Um, let's go to 10 times so that this work can get done. Uh, so yeah, if we produce some more goods we can kind of diversify and move out west if we move out west with some you know livestock or um, I don't know something like different crops and stuff I think we'll do pretty good um, another thing I'm kinda worried about actually is disaster because I haven't been thinking about it too much because I've been more worried about um, facing the game itself um, as, at large as opposed to focusing on different different uh, parts of the game um, you know like uh, whoa, whoa, who die ate some poisonous berries and died that's that's thoroughly unfortunate isn't it 
Gatherer, three of four. Oh, well, someone will grow up to be a gatherer soon. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's... Uh, stone is low. Yeah, I know, bro. Just go gather some. It'll be okay. Um, the... Uh, right, so like before we worried about starvation, but now that we don't have to worry about starvation, I'm more worried about uh, disaster, right? Um, I've been worried about kind of getting diversified and expanding, but at the same time, uh, I need to be worrying about more um, down the line issues, I think, because uh, everyone's happy, everyone's healthy, um, and that health won't last forever, but still, uh, everyone's happy and healthy at the moment, and if we don't worry about disasters, then they, that'll come back to bite us. Um, Um, sorry, take a little drink here. Um, I, I think we need to build a well, is what I'm saying, um, to get at what I'm talking about. I think we need to build a well here, because this is our densely packed area of fire, uh, or of, of buildings, and they can set on fire, and if they did, we might lose a lot of it. So, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking we need to build some well action over here, and down here I'm not as worried. Uh, if we add more houses and stuff down here, they've got the river nearby, but up here, they have to go all the way over here, down here, or over here, and I assume they'll choose the closest one like this, but uh, if we just add just add a well right here, that'll kind of assuage my worries. So I'm going to put a well there. First I'm going to... Let's see, I'll, I want to watch this bro first. Okay, 80, and we just need to build it. Very good. Um, I do want to grab stone, so we need to get some stone to be able to build the well. It's a little bit there. I don't know. Um, there's some over here. That's kind of awesome. Um, I'm thinking maybe, maybe build a bridge down here and start building some stuff over here. But I like the idea of going west instead. Oh, look at all that stone down there. But that only means something because I want stone right now. We've already gotten most of our stone in this area. Um, it's a good amount of stone over there, but still it's not worth building a bridge over. Where's the best stone we got? There's a good amount of stone up here. No path, but good amount of stone. I think we're gonna grab... Let's go grab that in like bursts. Like small amounts of stone all at once. I think you'll be able to probably grab a 30 by 20 area pretty easily. Nah, that ended up being 31 I think, but that's okay. Look at how full we are in terms of like gathering a lot of stuff. I wish that beans had a different use so that it wouldn't be like overproduction, but at the same time I think in the storage barn uh, it's like not a problem. Let's see, what do you got? log limit. Oh yeah, so like we're like producing more logs than we can use, and that's good. Hides. Um, I think what I'm going to do with this is probably put it up to 150, right? So right now I'm kind of trying to I'm trying to get a little bit more stuff um, across the board, right? Um, and doing that, we're going to have a little bit of extra stuff, right? I'm, I'm kind of I'm putting more food in, kind of preparing for more people. I want some nomads to move in because people who move out of houses, like children who grow up, they don't move into the lodging house, right? The boarding house. People who move in from out of town or are having a, their home upgraded, like I kind of want to get these all to be stone houses to conserve um, firewood, but um, stuff like that, right? Um, in fact, speaking of which, let's get up to f 600 fuel for that. Um, uh, people who, if I upgrade these houses, they'll be put out of a home and they'll want to move into the boarding house. But, um, but once those houses are back, they'll want to move back in, right? So, I want to just make sure that everyone's got a good place to live and has plenty of room. And, oh look, we need a trader now. Did I pause? I paused. No, I unpaused. There we go. Um, 
Do we have any laborers? No. Oh no. We have to sacrifice someone. Um, oh right, that gatherer died. That's really unfortunate. Um, what about a forester? We've got tons of logs. Think they can do without the extra person for now. Um, luckily, these are kind of places that don't necessarily need more people, especially if I've got it this close to the to the market. I think it'll be okay. Look at how big these buildings are, by the way, compared to and like this like lodging house and stuff compared to this stuff, right? It kind of dwarfs this kind of scale build. Like there's a schoolhouse and some buildings, but like houses. But then like even the tavern's large compared to all them and like the town hall has a tower and then there's this market it's like very large like it's all seems temporary but like it, it's all very large and so is this this trader right either way okay so we need to um stuff that we can produce in excess like i think clothes we produce in excess we need to trade that stuff so it's either leather or hide coats i think hide coats are going to be worth more what if I... they're worth 15 versus the leather? Leather's only worth 10, so a worked coat. I think you could produce one coat out of each leather. Um, let's say 60 coats. No, let's just go ahead and say 100, because that'll be an even 1500 um, value to trade, and that'll be good, because livestock costs a large amount of money as we learned in Giraffiton. Um, what else is good? Uh, we produce a lot of firewood each year. How much is that worth? Firewood's worth four. It's not bad. What about beans? Beans probably only worth one. Yeah, that's not worth it. Um, what about apples? One. Yeah, most food seems to be worth one because it's so easy to produce. Ale? We don't produce excess of ale, but oh, it's worth eight. Oh, if we did produce ale, that would be awesome. Um, potatoes. Mm, not that we have any. Um, logs. What are logs even worth? Two. But firewood is worth. Or firewood. There we go. Not firewood. Firewood is worth four. Um. Huh. So hide coats and tools seems to be seem to be our best item. Tools are worth eight. That's also good. Um, so here's how we can tell if we if it's kind of worth it here. So in the past, let's say five years. The past five years, tools, we've used 83 but produced 128. And I'm betting that that can go way higher because we can, we've got this limit imposed, right, on our tools as opposed to uh, like we don't have a limit on our iron because I told, just told them to gather a bunch of it, right? There's nobody producing it actively. So like we're not using as much of our iron as we um, as like we might think, right? So if we can produce a lot of tools and then trade them occasionally, because it's not like we're going to be trading every year, right? So if we only use 83 tools in five years, we can trade 83 tools easily or rather, we can, I guess we can trade the difference, I mean. Um, so we can trade like 40, these like 45 tools instead. And that's worth a pretty good amount. But if we just produce a little bit more, then we'll have a trade product, right? And so if we just keep producing, we might need to gather a little bit more iron, but we can still produce um, a good trade inventory. See what I mean? I hope that makes sense. Um, it's like the that's like the dumbest way to say it, <laughs> I'm sure, but still. Um, and it seems that we produce about twice as many clothes as we use in five years, so I think that that'll be okay as well. Yeah, we'll find out. Who knows? Um, anyway, so I think, actually after saying that, I'm thinking maybe we'll just drop these into 40 each, because we don't want to get ahead of ourselves. Because like I said one thing at a time, like baby steps is our mantra for Forest Myth. But that should be okay, that trader will go and do that. 
Um, I think we should build a path. Let's build a path here. Um, not what I was expecting, but okay. Here, go down first. Go across. Yeah, that's more what I was thinking. Thank you. There, and then we'll make a little, make a little stone path, and that'll lead out there, and that'll be good. This lod, this lodge doesn't have anything yet, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Nomads, still nothing. Okay. I expect that'll take a few years um, to get anywhere, but for now, we're kind of teetering around 30 people. Um, I think people are getting quite old at this point. 68, 74, 86. Yeah, these people are going to die of old age. Um, we need more houses, actually. Um, I, I want to pause and do that. I want to get more houses in here. Three, four, and five. This will leave us room for five more families, and that's about 20 people. So let's do that, shall we? That's going to need a lot of stone, isn't it? 40 each. Whoa. Whoops. That may have been a huge mistake. Um, okay. Well, then. You're going to go gathering for stone, huh? <laughs> um, okay, we're going to do that, and then we'll have more room for people. And we still have so much stone in here. We only got 16 from one person, because one person died by a rock, it seems. Oh, we just lost two people, huh? That's bad news. Oh, no. We're hitting that time when everyone starts hitting old age and dying. Oh, no. We didn't prepare early enough. Stone is low. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hopefully there should be just enough people to fill in the gaps. So these only need only one person. Um, Stonecutter would rather have more, but um, that's okay. Herbalist, I'd rather have two. Forester, I'd rather have four. That's okay. For now, we're fine. Oops, I didn't mean to close that. I like that screen. There we go. That screen's my friend. That screen helps me know what's going on. Okay. So... Let's get all these things. And then I got distracted. I really should be thinking about that well. Because the well is really important. Oh look, our trees are back. Hey, they grew back. Maybe the apple trees just have a shorter lifespan than like the pecan trees. I'm not sure. I feel like I don't know much about that. So I could I believe it one way or the other. Let's see here. We've got enough herbs for now. I'm looking up at the top left here. I'm kind of... I feel like there's so few children. That makes me really nervous because if we had more adults, we'd be um, better off. But at the same time, having so few children uh, makes me nervous for the future because we don't have enough... Like, we're kind of... We're, we're creating new buildings with our capacity of adults, not with our capacity of children. And we need to be thinking forwards, because if we don't, our village will stagnate and die, as we have seen in our previous attempts. Um, mostly in Drafton, but otherwise uh, it's still true. So we need to create more people. We, um, I created the larger excess of food in hopes that we would be able to support um, the new people that we've got and we'll be able to kind of set up another you know another means of food when necessary for instance like a fisher fisherman right um, speaking of which that will actually be really important soon because let's see we've got two extra laborers uh-huh doesn't look like they fill in the jobs that like got left behind after they die, so I'm kind of curious on that front. If that's, I'm not sure if that's necessary or not. We're still producing tons of food, so hold on. I paused. I'm gonna go ahead and just like say 10,000 food because you need like tons and tons of food, right? And 
especially with the with these apples. I wish there was some way I could tell them to like only produce apples for the ale because like alcohol I don't think I don't know what our our alcohol production is capped at 500, but we haven't even seen it like stay um ahead ever. So we might just need to get another orchard, but until we have another fruit, that's useless, right? We can't do that yet. So I'm just waiting on basically waiting on a trading post. Uh, I'm waiting for the trader to, you know, drift down the river and talk to me. Uh, that would be a plus. Stone. Is it because we have... Do we have no stone because we need to fill these up? Yeah. Did you already finish getting all that stone up here? I guess I should pause for that. Um, oh my god, I think they did. No way. Hold on a minute. Where did I do that? Watch them walk out. I think they're actually really close to finishing off that stone. That's crazy. Hold on. Who are all these people? Vendor. I guess in their off time they're doing all this stuff. Wow. Huh. Because we've... I don't know why that forester's up here, but okay. Huh. All this stuff's marked, though, so... Still got a good deal of stuff to grab. What have you got this season? Nice, good job. Stone is low. I know, man. It's okay. Isn't everything always low? It's not like the story of this game. I banish your resources. That's the that's where the name comes from, right? Oops, did not mean to do that. Sorry. What do you mean? There's an excess of ale. That blows my mind. No way. What do you mean we have enough ale to stay happy? That's bullshit. 30 ale this season. That can't be right, so... If we end up with 30 excess, that'll be impressive. Oh, sorry. I bumped my, uh, bump my mic there. I didn't, didn't mean to. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you going around like that? Oh, oh, okay. Hold on a minute. We gotta, we gotta do some uh, pathfinding here. Okay, hold on a second. Grab... Why don't you grab that iron soon? Okay, apparently they like to go up this way. So, we're gonna have to... Oh, traders here! What's up? Whoa, are you fucking joking? Get out of here. No one wants you. Go away. Yeah, yeah, you, you paddle away. Just a little wool. Rude. Got plenty of stone for that now. Now we just need uh, about 30 more, yeah? And are they still gathering it is my question. Is there still more to gather up here? Hmm. No, I don't think so. How much have they gathered? I, I won't know until they get back to a, to the stockpile, I guess. I don't think they have enough. Okay. Um, they're still going out there, actually. Hold on. I'm going to pause and tell them to gather this closer stone, too. Not like that. There we go. I don't want them to get confused and think they need to go around the river. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you tell them to go around the river. Um, I feel like they could only be bad. Okay. So we just need some more stone. Yeah, a little bit more stone here. Oh no, oh no, we're done with the stone. Okay, okay, okay. That was perfect then. Okay, so they'll come get this, and then they'll go get the stone. And I'll use that stone to build another path around this hill, I suppose. Because I suppose this this is good for kind of kind of uh, some paths in between here. But apparently, if I want them to go out here and chop trees or whatever, then they go around, which makes sense. It seems shorter. I suppose it's. I suppose it is actually shorter. So we do want a little bit of a road here, but we'll wait until they get their stone back from that. 132 logs last year. That's fantastic. Good job, guys. Trading post. Bring us something good. Okay. What's our status on nomads? I don't know if it'll like give us a. Not that. <laughs> if it'll give us a an alert when nomads want to come or not. 
Um, I, I wish it would. I don't know. Either way, we got our stone... We got our stone houses built down here. And a couple of them are even empty. That's actually good news, because that means we might produce more babies and have a uh, smaller generational gap. Um, I didn't even put down that well, did I? I mentioned that like a half hour ago. That's unfortunate. I'm not doing this so so smart smart like. Okay. Early autumn, 66 degrees. Is that normal? I feel like it's not. I feel like it might need to be. It might be dropping fast, actually. Um. Might be dropping a little quick, but not that bad, actually. Here we go. Raining might drop it a few degrees, but I've seen it snow at around 30-something in autumn, so I think we're actually pretty average. Might even be warm, I guess. 50s, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what latitude and longitude this is expected to be at, right? I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. Plus, who knows even what this world's what this world's weather structure is like. This is just kind of like simulated weather. So I can't make any assumptions. I don't I don't know how this uh, simulated weather even works. <laughs> I don't know what their uh, basic what their basic uh, rules are for things like mild, fair and whatever. So, who knows. Um It's late autumn. Took that long to snow, which is good actually. We got most of our yield of both things. So that's good. That's good. How much did we make this year of ale? Very, very little. Good. Great job, guys. You're not very good at that, are you? Apples. Good apples in reserve. And we're filling up our storage barns. Is our market also full? Wow, it really is. Okay. We might need to... What do you mean nobody's at the herbalist? We don't have an herbalist. Herbalist got old and died. Guys... That's not good. Okay, let's lower the gatherer because we've got tons and tons of food, right? Put them on the herbalist. And we're paused right here, and I, I'm i going to keep it this way until next episode. In fact, I need to take a break too. Um, you know, as I've said so many times, I, I record these in big bursts, and I feel like I'm probably losing my eyes on the issues. And I need to take a break I think so I'm going to take a break and um, I'm gonna think about what we need for this place kind of probably sleep on it figure it out uh, but Forestmouth is doing much better than any other town we've done before we're uh, kind of keeping the high high 20s which is like better than before right <laughs> um, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I've seen... I see reference to people having, like, hundreds of citizens, and, like, wow, I can't even imagine. This game's so hard. I'm I'm not that... I'm apparently not that cool. So, either way, uh, I'm gonna go try to figure out what we need to do next, and I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave the... Uh, leave a like there, right on the bottom of the video. And I will talk to you next time. Um, until then, I hope you stay well, and I'll try to do the same. But uh, until then, as I say until then a lot of these videos, don't I? Huh. I'm not going to change that. I just thought you should know I knew. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.